because it is time to have fun with science! Are you ready to have fun with science? Yeah. Yes! As you may know, my name is Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and up there peddling his heart out is my longtime loyal uh, laboratory assistant, Beaker! Also with us are our intrepid interns. Let's get a nice big round of applause for Newton and Einstein. We are from Muppet Labs, where for many years I've created inventions to make everyone's life easier. Isn't that right, Beaker? We've been invited by Mr. Mickey Mouse himself to share some of the groundbreaking work going on at Muppet Labs and to get you excited about science. Everybody, are you excited about science? Let me hear you! <laughs> now to bring the thrill of the lab directly to you, I've invented this most remarkable vehicle. Introducing the Muppet Mobile Lab! Thank you for that unsolicited applause. It fuels our passion for science. Unfortunately, Beaker's passion seems to be out of gas. See? Peter has decided to leave Muppet Labs. I guess it's no secret that I value my relationship with Peter very much. So he's been with his friend. I like to see you go, Peter. I'll miss you too. All right, Peter, that's enough. No crying. No crying in science. Folks, I may not see my colleague Peter for a very long time because his bags are packed and he has decided to take a long trip. But as I always say, science makes your life easier, and that is why this next invention is perfect for Beaker's big trip. I'm very proud to share with you... The Vacation Tron! Yes! With the Vacation Tron, you can go to exotic locales instantly and never have to pack a suitcase. Allow me to demonstrate! Now, Beaker, relax. This experiment is as safe as anything we've ever done at Muppet Labs. Alright, here we go, folks. First, we're off to Merry Old London, England. Now, it's going to be London without fog. Yes, that's right. Fog, oh, that is so thick. You won't even know you are not really in England at all. Next comes Alaska! Ice cold Alaska, where the temperature cools. Snow is all around. Honestly, it's only snow! Next stop is Africa. Ah! Africa, to see the most famous waterfall in the entire world! Victoria Falls! Feel the mist! Yes! Experience the greatness that is! But then, we travel to Indonesia. Now, Indonesia, as you may not know, is a country that has more volcanoes than anywhere else in the world. Yes, think of it, Beaker. Red hot magma, beneath your surface. All right, beneath where you sit, and then an eruption! There we are. A trip around the world in under a minute and a half. Isn't science fun? Let me hear you! Well, Beaker, after seeing what it's like out in the world, you'll probably want to stick around after all, right? The experiment made you want to leave all the more? Oh, that's my backfire. Uh, well, everyone, looks like Beaker really is leaving Muppet Labs. We'll have to begin the search for his replacement soon, but first, Beaker, I think it would be fitting for you to share some parting words with us. Hey, everyone, would you like to hear Beaker say what's in his heart? Yes! Yeah. 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 Beaker needs a little more encouragement, so let's cheer him on. Beaker! 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 Beaker, the floor is yours! so articulate. Everyone, wasn't that fantastic? Who was deeply affected by Beaker's speech? Let's see a show of hands here. Again, again. No, I'd like to speak to one of these grown-ups here who was moved by what Beaker had to say just now. 
Anyone want to uh, yeah, throw you your hands in the air for doom here? Go ahead and step forward there, please. Someone else can. So we can all see you. Oh, he doesn't want to go. <laughs> oh, he's changed his mind. Yes, all he right. changed well, his mind. A couple steps forward so everyone can see you. My name is Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. What is your name? Patty, is that right? Nice to meet you, Patty. And Patty, what was your favorite part of Beaker's speech? That's exactly how I felt, Patty. I think we're on the same wavelength here. Oh, you know what? You might have the makings of a future lab assistant, Patty. Oh, you know what? I have a few questions for you, Patty. Where are you from? Me too! Oh my goodness, what are the odds? Oh, what's your favorite color? Red? Hey, me too. Yes, very nice. Now, uh, Patty, one more question. What's your middle name? Me too. <laughs> Actually, no. But you know what, Patty? That's my cat's name. Oh, my goodness. The search is over, ladies and gentlemen. Let's cheer for my new lab assistant and my new best friend. Patty, 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 Patty. Patty. Yes. All right, Beaker, looks like you can come down from there now. We have found your replacement. Hey, Einstein, help Beaker down from the lab. Really, Beaker. Stop, stop there. You're going to wreck the lab. Beaker. It's a very rude thing to say about the good people of Pennsylvania. <laughs> what do you mean you've changed your mind, Beaker? You're going to wreck the lab. Stop spinning around like this. Is that a fact? Now, Beaker, I thought you wanted to leave. You want to stay now? You mean it? Oh, Beaker, that's wonderful news. I knew you'd never leave me. I, oh, dear. Uh, Patty, that's some bad news. The position has been filled. Yeah, yeah, but you know what, Patty? I have faith in you because someday, somewhere, you'll make someone a wonderful laboratory assistant. All right, let's give Patty a hand for helping us today. Patty, thank you for your help today. Oh, very nice, very nice. But you know what? Let's cheer for Beaker, too. Beaker's back, everybody. I can't believe it. Beaker. It's as if you've never left me at all. Hey, what, Beaker, what do you say? Let's, uh, let's show these fine folks one last invention before we leave, eh? What do you say, everyone, to show how much fun science can be? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you want to have your video recording devices standing by at the ready because I'm very excited to introduce the anti-sneeze ray, yes! For those of you affected by the onset of colds and allergies, the anti-sneeze ray will stop sneezes dead in their tracks. <laughs> After pulling this lever, I've released a cloud of carpet dust. will affect Beaker's ability to sneeze. Now, Beaker, hang on to that person to sneeze because the mighty invisible beams from this very powerful ray gun will stop that sneeze dead in its tracks. Observe. Success! Beaker didn't sneeze, it works! The anti-sneeze ray really works! Ha <laughs> ha! Hooray! Yes! <laughs> well, side effects of this invention may include losing your wardrobe. That's all the time we have for now. Thank you for being such a wonderful crowd. Thank you again.